Hello again, everybody. It's Flipping Crazy back with another booth tour. It's been quite some time. So I will show you what's been changed, what's the same. And uh, look at all that jewelry. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> look at all that jewelry. And I still have more. I still have more to bring. Okay, so we're going to do a little tour here. We have the records on the end right there. I brought in this uh, vintage wicker frame mirror see how that does this big jewelry box and I put what's left of the license plates here I do have more plates to bring in but not right now uh, my big duck or goose metal tricycle wicca chicken and some various uh, DVDs and video games and CDs and stuff I just threw there I have some puzzles down at the bottom and let's go over here. This is a new bookshelf. If you remember, I had that metal book, metal uh, baker's rack looking thing. Well, somebody was moving out and I got this tall white bookshelf here. And we have my big catch up there. I just brought the teapot in. I brought a lot of new merchandise in. The metal train. Uh, that awesome fish. He's so cool. The fishbowl looking vase, really neat. Some figurines and baskets, pretty box, wooden box, uh, a whole planter or candy dish, the uh, dolphin, some miscellaneous Christmas down there I'll be bringing up as the time gets later. I uh, brought the witch in, still have the rocking horse. Some puzzles in Jenga down there, some light bulbs. Here is a metal truck and a um, uh, Nordic Ware beehive mold, Return of the Jedi sign, all sorts of stuff, all sorts of stuff. The, I can't believe nobody still bought this doll. My mom made that outfit from scratch when she was still alive. It's beautiful. Uh, some stuff up here. If you see anything you're interested, let me know. Plus, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like and leave a comment below. I do sell some of this stuff on my channel. So if you're interested in something, I could pull it and bring it onto the channel. Or you can email me and we can deal with it directly. Somebody stole his glasses last year and now his face is getting all... I don't know what they're doing to him, but... Poor little Jeff Gordon kid. Uh, more car theme stuff here. Jimmy Johnson back there is autographed. 007. Got a giant Earnhardt um, remote control car. Some 1940s, 1950s unused greeting cards. Seem to be going good for people doing scrapbooking or junk journaling. Um, just miscellaneous stuff. The pug mug is here. I do have to have a mug sale on my channel soon. Some pretty tins, vintage tins, that gorgeous plate. I love those flowers. Lone glass pineapple, Temptations pineapple, Temptations chicken, carved zebra, that pretty cross. Little kitty cat back there. We have this um, beautiful bone china mosaic frame that was handmade. And we have another, I think this is my last Shelia piece. And then the bicycle mug. We have some Johnny Lightnings up here and Austin Powers and miscellaneous cars. Uh, the Matt Kenseth car is autographed as well. It's hard for you to see it up there. It's autographed on the front. Hand-painted raccoons. Old Spoon. Nice old picture frame up there. The Bavarian plate. Surprised that didn't get snatched up yet. Some apple decor. Teapot plates. Candle snuffer. Uh, the old fork and spoon, the tiki style. We have a nice metal cross. We have the one should be warded by his deeds, not his knees. I put that up because the other plaque sold. So a lot of glass stuff, pottery stuff. If you see anything you like, let me know. And I can 
make a deal or bring it to the next sale. Different kinds of glasses and butter dish, the Holt Howard piece back there, the roaring dinosaur mask, the big giant tomato basket. You can use it as a pin cushion sewing basket, flower frogs. You can pause at any time too to get a better look at this stuff. Um, that is a longer burger basket that is uh, painted and signed. Another Christmas piece. We have this rack here with various figurines and such. Try to give you a better view of them. If you're interested in anything, just describe it and give me the timestamp. This is gorgeous. I'm surprised this is not sold yet. Beautiful piece. Then can we don't go down to this? And the teapot and that beautiful plate. Beautiful reticulated plate. Gorgeous Mexican pottery mug. Those are all different Hawaiian shirt dishes. Got the milk glass. Butter dish. All sorts of things. Spoon rest. I do like blown glass and uh, art pottery. More stuff down here. That old tr primitive looking tree. It's really cute. Another tin. Deviled egg tray. A croc style planter. An old food chopper. Then over here we have some artisan stone jewelry and various stone pieces. I just brought in the display of rings today, so we'll see how those do. I have them in there. And then the third shelf I made into just like stuff I don't want to leave out. That. And then that's extra jewelry. I try to bring in extra bags when I can. We've got Minnie Mouse, Door Greeter, more tins here. This is a wine picnic basket with the wine glasses and the wine koozie or whatever you call it. There's a rope elephant. Here is a bread box. Milk glass up there and a signed, uh, I forget who makes that uh, paper art. And then we go to the plush. Oh, we have the Dale Earnhardt up here, the autographed Dale Earnhardt with a piece of his car. Uh, then we have bears and other plush. A lot of bears. A lot of Boyd's bears, Barrington bears, Vermont teddy bears. A lot of beautiful bears. If anybody's interested in bears, let me know. I can give you a deal on a bunch of them. Uh, we do have more jewelry sporadically throughout. There's a little backpack I just put up. The moon, the denim teddy bear, vintage teddy bear, the, the cigar box purse, the faux cake, the uh, Indian, I think he might be a wall pocket, I forget, where he's just a wall decor, uh, the ship, that piece of glass covered candy dish, we have more stuff here, the gnome cookie jar, we have the glass Dolphin, he's kind of hidden back there. I'm going to have to fix that. The hippo. The swan ring holder. The Poirot little box. This is another Mexican pottery. 1973 Ham's beer mug. Uh, what is that one? Yankee candle. Candle topper and dish. You got those little 70s little um, two pictures have those. Uh, the firefighter bear, he sings American, some kind of America song. What did they do here? It goes there, it's a magnet. Uh, this is a glass top cigar humidor. It's huge. It holds, I think, 100 or 150 cigars. I don't know why they were messing with it. It's held on by a magnet. <laughs> I have a cigar book I want to put in there that's going to go with it for free, but I'm I'm afraid somebody's going to take the cigar book out separately. i got to figure out what to do. Maybe I'll tie it to the inside or something. It's like a guidebook to cigars. We have the pretty crocheted Indian down there, crochet dress Indian, some wire baskets, Fire King, another Christmas piece down there. Some more books. I didn't notice this mess. 
when I came here. It wasn't bad. There was some tangled jewelry, as usual, because, you know, what can you do? That's a swivel jewelry box, so you swivel each level and it opens separately. And just some McCoy, Ray Dunn, this awesome pitcher here, primitive pitcher. Some egg cups. And we have some stuff up here. That's a Tiffany and Company uh, pitcher, and it's two snakes as the handle. Hager pottery. Stained glass angel. Looks like somebody dropped the wing on it. Lovely. And that's it for that. Then over here I'm trying to build up. Oh, look at the mess they made. Oh, look at all that. All right, I guess I'll have to pick that up. And I'm trying to build up another wall for space here, like behind it, so I could put some extra stuff. So right now I have the keychains here, and I have another basket of uh, bracelets and the overstock of the totes of jewelry here. These I have to figure out what I want to put here. This is the rotating rack with the scarves on it. Scarves do really well here. Um, there's some really pretty ones, really fancy ones. Nice patterns. I go for the patterns and the textures. And then we have this rack of necklaces and bracelets that always gets tangled. And then as you come closer here, we have the belts, which the belts sell really good because I usually fill this up and there's only a couple left on it. We have the jewelry section, jewelry department, some earrings, and this is uh, got pins and rings, that kind of stuff on it. And here's another rack for bracelets and necklaces. We have all these craft totes. More bracelets, more bracelets, and then we have more jewelry here. So that's about it, guys. That's the tour of the booth. If you see anything you're interested in, shoot me an email. Let me know. Wow, the jewelry is spreading out. <laughs> Let me know. And uh, again, please subscribe. Hit that thumb. Turn a notification bell on and set it to all. I do have sales on my channel where I do sell this stuff as well if you're interested in anything. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Oh, as you can see, when I had the metal baker's rack here, I moved it. Let me go slow. That's what is over here now. I kind of squeezed that spot and snuck it in there so it's over there. And then the crates that were there, let me go slow again, the crates that were there I put here. That's where those came from. I'm going to use them as some kind of shelving or storage. So yeah, I got to keep bringing new stuff in. It's the fall. Hopefully uh, business is going to pick up here and uh, we'll be able to circulate stuff quicker. I'll show you this end again, this side whoopsie <laughs> all right there you go so thank you for watching everybody i know it's been a while so i figured i'd do an update for you guys um until next time see you on the flip side bye everybody thanks for watching